Um, today I was excited to vote for Burlington's first female mayor. I did. I just voted in the presidential primary. I did my uh, town ballot early. As we're running a really extensive writing campaign specifically for me, but also there's some wonderful great candidates are running as well. So, yeah. For the three items, um, and I voted yes for all three, for the schools, for uh, the city, uh, for the police and fire, and for the, uh, what was the last one? Uh, oh, the electric departments. There's nothing more important than education for our young people. But it's hard to figure out how taxpayers can afford that. Voting, I always vote. Of course, I had to switch wards this year. Um, I guess for mayor, I mean, I'm psyched that there's two women running for office. Um, I think it's time for a change. I think all the ballot questions are really important. Obviously, school budget um, being a hot topic that people are worried about and it's very important I think always that we pass a school budget and especially right now because we really need a high school. Okay there we go. Alrighty. How is how has the election been so far for you? Oh I'm excited for uh, Emma to be our next mayor. Our 11 schools here in the city of Burlington serve over 4,000 students and public education is incredibly, um, it's the largest economic engine of our city um, and it defines, you know, people moving into this um, community. Local issues are really what affect us most directly, right? And, you know, I think it's just important to, to make your voice heard and obviously at these things it's usually pretty low turnout so every vote counts and, and um, you know, we're just lucky to live in a democracy. Still. I kind of have the belief that if you don't vote today, you don't have the right to bitch tomorrow. And I do a lot of bitching, so <laughs> I want to make sure I have that right. I think, you know, obviously the primary uh, candidates um, definitely needs to be a change in Washington. Uh, locally, um, you know, taxes are getting way out of control, way out of hand. I'm a pro-Trump fan. I want to make sure that he uh, is represented what little we have in Vermont, I want to represent him. Thank you very much. Whoever gets, whoever wins today, well, first of all, make history. Be first female mayor, right? Which is great, right? Big news. It, big it, news. That is big news. <laughs> it is really big news, right? And but whoever wins is, it's got some real challenges ahead of them, right? Yeah. And so, uh, after tonight, you we get behind the winner, yeah. right? And we support the winner, and we hope, yeah, you know, we hope they're successful, right? Yeah. So I know Emma, and I like Emma. She's a really, you know, really super person. And I think we'll all be rooting for her if Emma wins, and I hope they will be if Joan wins. Yeah. Right. I believe she's, as she says in her thing, you know, all hands on board. She wants people to be engaged with her, not being just a mayor of the city. I am pretty disappointed that there wasn't anything about uh, a ceasefire and the genocide that's happening in Gaza. I think it does not track to our values uh, in Burlington not to have anything on the ballot. Bring honesty back to politics and move forward with positive change. I've been a Burlington resident for five years now and to be able to vote for the first time and to make my voice count by voting is such a huge privilege. So, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm voting for Emma and not ranking Joan. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's really the, the big thing, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Merger. No merger on no the ballot this year. So, it was simple. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Town Meeting TV. <laughs>